Questions eight and nine refer to the hyperbola represented by y plus five quantity squared minus 36 x squared equals 36. Well, the first step is if I want to look at hyperbola on the formula chart, I could come over here and I could quickly determine that every hyperbola is given either in this form or this form. You see that they're, they're in fraction form. Now, ours had the y first and it was positive. So we'd be taking this equation. So we need to make a quick edit to get this in the correct form. The way to do so is we're going to divide everything by 36. So when I do this, I've now got my equation in the right form. I have y plus 5 quantity squared over 36 equals, not equals, I'm sorry, minus x squared over 1, which obviously could simplify, but I'll just leave it like that, equals 1. I now have it in the right form. Now, to find asymptotes. Asymptotes, remember, are uh, equations in the form of y equals mx plus b, where m is rise over run. Rise divided by run. Now, to find the rise over run, we're going to use the a and b values. So the value that's underneath y is always your rise, really the square root of this. So if this is a squared from the formula, a squared equals 36, that means a is going to equal plus or minus 6. So my rise is either positive or negative 6. My run is going to come from this value, the value that's underneath x. That is your b squared. In this case, I know we usually say negative 1, but for now I'm just going to say b squared is 1, and so b would equal plus or minus 1. For our rise over run, our slope would be 6 over 1. So we'd have plus or minus 6 over 1, which is simply plus or minus 6. So we know our equations would be y equals plus or minus 6x plus b. Now to find the b's, what I need to do is I would plug in the center point. Now our center we get from the top part, the h and k up here. So I'm going to write this over here at the center. This is telling me, because it's in parentheses with the y, that I need to go down 5, and this is 0. There's nothing there, so it would be 0 down 5. To get the b's, I would plug them in. So I'm going to take this equation, and I'm first going to plug in 0 and negative 5 in with a positive 6. So negative 5 is the y. So it's a negative 5 equals positive 6x plus b. Now I'm going to solve for b by saying, oh, I'm sorry, I was supposed to put a 0 in for x. So let me go back here. And we're going to put a 0 in right there because x is 0. Now when I do that, that goes away, and I found that negative 5 equals b. So I can come over here, and when I have positive 6x, I know that I'm going to have the equation negative 5. Now, so it would be y equals positive 6x minus 5. Now when I do the same thing, but this time I plug in a b of negative 6. But this time it won't matter because I'm, since I'm multiplying by 0, Nothing changes here, even with the slope of negative 6, because that would still get multiplied by 0 and disappear. So this turns out to be the only slope I have. It's here given by plus or minus 6x minus 5. Now I want to continue on, and I want to find the coordinates of the vertices and foci. So the vertices are found, if you remember, by adding the a values. It's plus or minus a to the center. So I take my center, which my center was 0, negative 5. And since the a is underneath the y, I would add it to the y value. So 0, negative 5, and it would get plus or minus this 6. This is for the vertices. Okay, which means my first vertice would be 0 and the negative 5 plus 6, which would be positive 1. And the other would be 0 and then negative 5 minus 6 more, which is negative 11. That would be my vertices here. And to find the foci, I need to first find C, because C finds foci. C goes with foci. So this is the value C. So how do I get C? I use the formula C squared equals A squared minus B squared. My A squared was 36. So I'm going to put a 36 here. And the negative B squared, I'm plugging in. So it would be minus. This is a negative 1. So I'm going to put in a negative 1 there. And the two minuses make a positive. So it turns positive, so that means that's 37. 
So C squared equals 37, which means C equals the square root of 37. We don't have a real number for that. And so what I would do for the foci is I would come over here and I would just say foci would be equal to, and I'm going to start with the center, which is 0, negative 5. This time I would add and subtract the 30, square root of 37. I should have done a plus or minus there. Let me just erase this and rewrite it. C would equal plus or minus square root of 37. And so here I would add and subtract square root 37. Since I don't have that as a real number, I'm just going to leave it like that for my answer. Now, could we check these three answers? You bet. If I went back to this red equation I have, if I go to hyperbola and graphed it, I could check all the answers. So I go to graph, I'm going to go menu, graph entry, I'm going to choose uh, equation, hyperbola, and I want the y to be positive, so I choose north, south, or vertical. And the equation was y plus 5. So it says y minus here. I need to put a negative 5 to make that a plus 5. There was nothing with the x, so I put a 0. Underneath the y, I put square root 36. Obviously, we could have put a 6, but I just did like to keep the same number. And the square root cancels a square. And over here, we had the value 1. So I'm just going to put square root 1. I don't know what happened there. Let me try the end. Here we go. Square root 1. So here's my hyperbola. If I zoom out, menu, zoom, out. There we go. So we could try all of our values. We go menu, analyze graph, analyze conic. And if I wanted to find the center, we said it was 0, negative 5. That's what the calculator says as well. Move that out. If we needed vertices, you go analyze graph, analyze conic. We can choose vertices and find those in the calculator. So those are those two values there. Uh, I'll put this one over there so we can see those a little better. And then finally, if we want in foci, these are the ones we got that weird number on. That's the value. So let's check and see if these values are right for foci. We're getting these weird numbers. So the way to check it, if we go to the calculator, we said it was negative 5 plus square root of 37. Why does it keep doing that? I'm sorry. And then I would do it again. And this time I would subtract that value. So we should have got 1.08 and a negative 11.08. When I go back to my graph, uh, home screen 4, you'll see that those values do, in fact, match up with what we had. So we did everything correctly.